Hey there, it's Lauren Foster, your happiness coach with Be Happy First, coming to you from the beautiful mountains, late spring, the summer solstice is almost here in East Tennessee in the Appalachian Mountains that you see behind me. So fabulous. If you've made your way here, it's because you are considering either signing up for a free strategy session or you are thinking of committing to a six-month program of study and personal development in the Life Mastery class. So I'm here to help you figure out if this is the right move for you at this time. This, this video is going to be a little bit long, but you are about to make an important investment in yourself and take an important step towards living the life that you really, really love. So it's worth it to take the time to watch all the way through. And when we get to the end, I'll describe a little bit more about exactly what the Life Mastery class is about. But first, we want to focus on, is this the right thing for me? Is this the right fit for me? And we're so what we're going to do is sort of do a virtual strategy session. If you sign up for a strategy session with me, this is what we will do together. And so I'll be able to help you and walk you through the steps of the strategy session and help to ignite your imagination and ignite your ability to dream. And really kind of this is your first coaching session. It's a great value. So I do encourage you to at least do that if you're but if you're already ready and you have made the commitment that you want to give six months a six month experiment towards figuring out how to be a deliberate creator then just jump on board with that too so the first thing that we do in a strategy session is you can just do this in your head but you're going to have a whole lot more power and a whole lot more impact and get a lot out of this if you'll pause this real quick and get yourself something to write with and and take some notes so the first thing that you want to do is really shine a light on how your life looks right now. Pay attention to your pain. Pay attention to your longing. Pay attention to your discontent. The the great gifts of our pain and our our dissatisfaction are that they help us to figure out what it is that we do want. So we we call this a contrast that arrives into our lives as a human and and so we, we know about the light because of darkness. We know about joy because of sadness. So if we have too much weight on our bodies, that gives us a hint that we of something that we do want. So pay attention to everything that's going on in your life right now. Where does it hurt? What would you like to really be rid of in your life? What would you really, really love to have more of in your life? And then ask yourself, how long has this been going on? How long has my life been this way and I've not been able to make the changes to make it different? And what has it cost me to live in this way without addressing this and making something, making a new decision, taking a new step, getting out of my comfort zone into my green growing edge? So how long has it been happening and what is it costing me? And you know, don't get too bogged down in this, but you really want to kind of see where you are. And then we're going to to have a stab at figuring out where you want to be and then identifying that gap and seeing if a structure of coaching and the support of a coach would help you to bridge that gap from where you are to where you want to go. So right now you're looking at your pain, you're looking at your current life, you're looking at all the areas of your life. Look at your health, look at your relationships, look at your money how you are creating in the world. Are you, do you have the money that you want and do you enjoy what you do in order to bring that money into your life? And finally, do you have the time and money freedom to go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be and give and create in the way that you want to be and give and create and someone that you adore to do those things with. So, so next, Paint a picture of your life. Project yourself into the future, maybe three years. The reason for three years is that if you say one year, your brain is going to go, uh-uh, you know, there's no way you can do that. You didn't do that last year. Your brain kind of has a frame of reference for one year. Five years might be a little bit too far. Three years, your brain's going to go, well, you know, all right, go ahead. Go ahead and, and dream and create and make up your vision in that three-year segment. So in three years from now, what is the life that you would really, really love? Now, make sure that you are really dreaming here and not asking yourself, what do I deserve? What am I capable of? What does my bank account say? What does my experience, my contacts, any condition, throw those out the window and just concentrate on what you would really love in all four areas. 
if you want to make improvements in your health, what does that look like? What do you weigh? What do you wear? What do you feel like? Are you agile and strong and climbing trees? Really get into how your health looks. And then your relationships. Are you lonely and in search of your soulmate? What does it look like when you have found that soulmate and that that person is really integrated into your life? Or maybe you want to improve your relationships with your kids or your coworkers or your parents. Whatever relationships, however you're interacting with other people in your life, what does that look like? And then how are you creating? Do you want to own your own business? Do you want to take the business that you already own and instead of a million dollar business, make that a five million or a ten million dollar business? Would you like to take your monthly, in your yearly income and make that your monthly income? What does your work look like? What kind of work would you love to do? And what kind of rewards do you want to reap the benefits from that work? And then finally, your time and money freedom. What are you doing with this newfound independence and financial independence and newfound health? If you want to travel, where are you traveling to? What are you doing? Who are you doing it with? Be very, very specific and really fall in love with this vision that you have created for yourself of the life you would really, really love. Now, after you have looked at where you are, looked at your pain, looked at your longing, looked at your discontent, and then looked at the life that you would really, really love to have, what's the gap between there? What are the steps that you can take that will get you from where you are now to where you want to be? The way to do this is to master your thinking, to be a deliberate creator, to learn how to program, reprogram your brain so that you are looking for the positive, you are looking for things to appreciate, you are dedicated and committed to this vision that you have for your life and committed to reminding the universe every day that this is what you're working towards and letting the universe tell you what the next steps are that you can take. What can I do today with what I have that will move me in the direction of this dream. Now, there are, we all have paradigms, we all have patterns that were taught to us. They aren't necessarily even mostly our own. These are paradigms that were taught to us by our parents, taught to us by our peers, by our teachers, by society in general that has made us say, well, it's not practical for me to dream in that way. I have to be logical. I have to live my life according to conditions. In order to change those patterns, there's two ways to do this, two ways to eliminate a paradigm from your life. One is a life-changing event. We just had the sunshine come out, so might need to change this video up a little bit, which is all good. We are um, we're authentic here in everything that we do. So one way is something tragic, a, a, a catastrophic event, a health disaster, a death, something that jars you and causes you to think in a different way. We clearly don't want that. <laughs> we, we, we want to avoid tragedy if we at all can. And then the second way that we can address a paradigm is by diligent effort day after day, by getting in a structure of addressing this every day and getting support in doing that. And that's what the Life Mastery Program will do for you. If you are ready to make this investment in yourself and jump on board, this is what's in store for you. So we will meet every Tuesday at 1130 Eastern Time. We adjust that for holidays and other events. For instance, we, we meet four times a month. If there happens to be five Tuesdays in a month, we're going to skip that month. This is an interactive call where I'm live with you. We spend the first part of the class in a teaching where you're taking notes, you're learning, you're adding to your knowledge base, and we have life work that we do every week. And so after the teaching segment of the class, then we share what, what gold nuggets did we get from that? What questions do we have? What growth do we experience throughout that week? And in applying the, the lessons from last week. So it's a very awesome and interactive experience where you get to understand that you are so not alone, that there are millions of other people making this journey with you that you can learn from and grow with and, and feel that connection to. We have a different topic each month. You can th These are all written out in this page. So you can run through those. We, we talk about intention, which is so such a vital life skill for you to learn because where you set your intentions and set your attention, 
that's where your life will produce. That's where the universe will bring things to you that match that intention and match that attention. We spend a whole month on love, learning to love yourself, learning to forgive, learning the, the life skills that you need in order to either attract the soulmate that you've been looking for or to have deeper, richer, more meaningful, satisfying relationships that with the people that are already in your life. It's a beautiful, rich month. We concentrate on your body for an entire month, in the health month, where we are learning to get in touch with our bodies and take responsibility for what is going on in our physical environment, what we put into our bodies. The, and primarily the attitude that we have towards our body. This is the only body we get in this lifetime and we're supposed to love it. So we learn life skills in order to do that. And then we talk about manifestation and transformation and and um, there's one other topic that's in there that's escaping me at the moment. But sign up for a free strategy session if you're not still not quite sure if you want to take this leap to get into this program or even into a private coaching program that we can discuss Go to timewithlauren.com and make yourself an appointment for a strategy session and let me help you through this part. Let me help you figure out what is the next best step for you. I always welcome your comments and I always love to hear from you. You can email me at lauren at behappyfirst.com or behappyfirst.org. Sign up for the day, the free daily email that we have. There are little annoying boxes all over the website that you can go to for that. In the meantime, I so look forward to seeing you in a Facebook group, on a Facebook Live video, in a strategy session, in the Life Mastery class, and I am so believing in you and your dreams and you taking the next step towards the life that you really, really would love living. Until then, saying goodbye and namaste. Thanks so much for being here.